All right, guys, here's the scoop. I've never had Arby's. I've never had the desire to have Arby's. When it comes to fast food places, I can't fall in love. I got options. We got KFC. We got McDonald's, Dairy Queen, A&W. And I don't know who, given all those choices, is like, nah, I'm gonna get Arby's. They seem to still be in business. So maybe this is just the most fire fast food and I'm just missing out. So I'm gonna hit Arby's today. I want to hit Arby's with a homeless person. One, because it's the holiday season and i want to just sit down and you know have lunch with someone who maybe doesn't have the opportunity to see their family right now two because the last video i did about the homeless shelter i wasn't able to get that interview in with the homeless person which really pissed me off because i think the stories of these homeless people is something that society really needs to hear i don't really have a plan for how i'm gonna do this but i'm outside of a mcdonald's right now I'm gonna buy like 10 McDoubles and pull up to a shelter and give them away and hopefully one of the people outside the shelter will go to Arby's with me. So let's go! Hello, can I have uh, 10 of your finest McDoubles please? This shit's heavy! Gonna bench press this for a couple hours and then we're good to go! JK, JK, it's time to hit the homeless shelter with this food. Yeah bro, see that? I'll grab one for you. You want one bro? Oh, yeah. There you go bro. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, do you wanna... Do you want to do an interview at all? All right, you want to you wanna hop in the car? All right, bro. Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas to you, bro. How did you become homeless? I'm not homeless. Too. You're not homeless? Do you do any drugs? I do marijuana. I don't consider that a drug. Do you have any crazy stories of kind of like being in this area? There used to be a bench there, bro, last millennium. And one time, this uh, really, really tall um, um, South African guy Somalian guy. Yeah. There was a guy sleeping on that bench. He's still there. And that Somalian guy walked across the street. This is all on full motion view anyway. He pulled out a blade and went wah, wah. He pulled out a what he and did that? He fucking killed the guy that was sleeping with a blade. Do you feel like people under understand you? Like the average person? Like what, what do you have to say to them? To be against the wall and then to be homeless at the same time is awful. Because it's hard to keep your body clean and healthy and fed and rested. It's just a never-ending cycle of woe. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. he, he didn't say, uh... This guy just wiped some dirt off my car. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have shelters, and you'd, you'd encourage everyone to volunteer at your local shelter and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Yo, are you, are you hungry? Like, how hungry are you? Uh, I'm not hungry at all. You're so. not hungry? Mm -hmm. I was gonna see if you wanted to go to Arby's. Uh, no. I feel like a bunch of people didn't get McDoubles, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some more and double back. So hey, can I have ten more McDoubles? I'm really hungry today. We got the goods. I'm gonna see if I can find anyone else who wants to go to Arby's. Plus, that last guy was nice, but I feel like he wasn't completely open with me, to be honest. All right, we back. Thank you. Yeah. You wanna come to Arby's? Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys want to come to Arby's or are you just chilling? All right, guys. No one wanted to come to Arby's. This is what I mean, bro. I think Arby's is trash. Even homeless people are like, Arby's, I don't know, bro. My daughter has a piano recital. I really want a genuine interview, bro, about how these people feel. I think it's important. So it's time for plan B. All right, guys, it's time to go back undercover. I'm just gonna pull up to a different shelter. This will probably make it easier for me to talk to people and to get their genuine thoughts. Wow, I just went past the shelter that just has one lady sitting outside. Hey, can I ask you a couple of questions? I mean, what brings you out here, I guess, what, uh... I had a really strange situation. Yeah. It's cooled around on me. Yeah, overdose almost left me to die. Totally fucked me over. I lost my place, arson, yeah. for fire. When did you lose your place? That was about a couple years ago now. So you've been living on the streets for a couple years, or...? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Can I show you on camera? I'm not showing you right now. Are you trying to get back on your feet? Like, what's the, what's the deal? Yeah, I've been staying sober, clean, I don't do needles. I'm hoping my family will come around, but I was a hairdresser for 17 years. I love my job. I was a hard worker. This is me. What would you say to, like, the average person who's like, you know, what, what's your message to them about, like, this kind of lifestyle? What do you and, like, fall in love with? Any crazy stories of being out here for so long? Is there a chance you'll get your son back? I'm trying to show everybody that it's possible. Well, um, do you have anything else you want to say? Do you have a spare cigarette? 
No, I can buy you some cigarettes and come back if you want. I'd love that. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. These people have real stories, they have real struggles, and they're trying to make it work. When she said all she wants to do is see her son again, I don't wish that feeling on anyone. All right, we got this lady her smokes. There you go. You bet. All right, well, I guess I'm making this trip to Arby's solo. <laughs> no pun intended. Hello. Do people come here a lot? How does this place stay open? Will you guys give me an eight ball if I come back after hours? What is horsey sauce? You serving sea biscuit up in here, Arby's? All right, guys, we've got a whole lot of Arby's to try. They've already lost points with me because I asked for a bottled water and they gave me Dasani. Any seasoned water drinker knows that Dasani is the most trash brand of water. All right, guys, first up, we've got the loaded curly fries. Not so loaded if you ask me. We've got a bunch of fries and sour cream with what looks like a handful of shredded cheese from my grandma's fridge. Okay, Arby's. I see you putting in that work. All right, I just ate like most of the curly fries. I can't even lie, that was, that was really good. We got their roast beef sandwich. This is Arby's Whopper, this is their Big Mac. Let's see if it lives up to that. Oh my God, this looks really gross, dude. Anyone else getting kind of horny looking at this? Shout out to my ex, am I right? It's so bland, it's so dry. There's not even any sauce in here, they just through some roast beef between two pieces of bread. Ay ay ay. How is this their most famous dish? All right, up next we have the classic beef and cheddar. Bro, this is the same thing as the roast beef, except they just threw a slice of Kraft cheese on it. I've been bamboozled. Everyone was like, oh, you gotta try the beef and cheddar, bro, it's sick. Y'all lied to me, Arby sucks. Now we got the crispy chicken sandwich here. Now this looks a little more promising. Yep, nice juicy chicken. Actually has sauce on it. Pretty good. Now, what are the rest of these curly fries saying? Am I right? All right, guys. That roast beef that they're so famous for is fucking trash. But there was a couple other dishes that I didn't mind. I want to wish everyone a happy rest of their holidays. Love you guys. Peace.